Welcome to Surfing. Today we're going to patina a piece of steel with a nice orange brown to deep brown finish called rustic brown. This process requires some tools such as paint brushes, spray bottles with water, wash rags, and a cleaning solution called brush and clean. We begin by cleaning our steel surface. Using a brush, apply the cleaner to the steel surface and scrub in a vigorous circular motion. Keep your eye out for any dirty edges or corners which may need additional cleaning. Once the part is thoroughly scrubbed with cleaner, go ahead and use disposable paper towels to wipe off the cleaner. Follow up with a thorough rinsing with water. If the parts can fit in a bucket or tray, dipping the parts in water can be a good way to remove the cleaner. For large parts, you can use a hose, spray bottle, or even a dedicated paint gun filled with water. As a last step prior to applying the patina, go ahead and dry the part with a clean rag or similar cloth. Now that we're all set, go ahead and brush the rustic brown patina solution onto the steel with a circular scrubbing motion. Just like the cleaning stage, Pay close attention to any edges or corners which may need more solution. Once a deep orange brown finish results, you can go ahead and wipe the solution off with disposable paper towels. Once the solution is wiped off, go ahead and rinse the steel surface with water. For the final stage, go ahead and dry the surface with wash rags or paper towels. For yet an even deeper rustic finish, you can brush the patina for more time until it achieves a red to brown finish. The two finishes benefit from the added color depth as a result of applying clear coats. Here are the two finishes from this product after the Acrylac 1045 flat clear coat has been applied. The end results are a set of deep rustic finishes that can be from yellow-orange tones all the way to deep brown tones depending on how long the patina was applied. For more information, check out surfandchemical.com.